everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to knit the double stockinette stitch. And as you can see here, I've got a sample of two different ones. And um, let's just ignore the top one and concentrate on the bottom one for, for now. As you can see, it's called the double stockinette because it's the same on both sides. And this is one side, this is the other side. And it looks like stockinette, but as we all know, stockinette stitch on one side, it looks like this, but on the other, it has pearl buns. And um, the reason why this is so good is because you can knit a scarf with it or um, a hat, like a reversible hat. Um, and it doesn't curl, as you can see, it just sits flat. You could also use hot pads for your kitchen. Uh, washcloths because they're quite squishy and quite thick um, and it's very very simple to knit we're gonna learn how to knit it um, soon in this video obviously and I've also tried it um, with a twist so this is what it looks like and I'll, I'll show you how to knit both of them but um, the top one I've knitted I've done the knit stitches through the back loop and it if you stretch it, it looks a little bit like one by one rib, but the pearls in between, they're just bars, as you can see. It lays flat as well. It's a bit more stretchy. Actually, it's kind of the same. This has more hold to it. This is more flexible. But yeah, I think it's beautiful and they both look really nice. This one has like a twist. It almost looks, I mean, with this bulky yarn, obviously, it almost looks like little hearts on top of each other, I think. <laughs> anyway, let's learn how to knit it. So you want to cast on a multiple of two. And I have here two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 stitches. As it, and as you can see, um, it, the, the fabric is narrow, so with a normal 16 stitch, I think my work would probably be quite wide, but because this stitch um, kind of cramps the stitches together, and you'll see in a minute why, you have to swatch if you're doing a scarf. You have to swatch first and measure your gauge and see how many stitches you want to cast on because like I said um, it, the fabric turns narrow with the stitch count that you have so 16 stitches as you can see it would have started like this but because this stitch is kind of like a slip stitch it it denses up the stitches it kind of pulls them close to each other especially with the twisted knit stitch so um, let's learn how to knit the simple double, uh, that doesn't make sense, the double stockinette stitch, this one. So with a multiple of two, we're always going to start with a knit one. So I'm going to knit the first stitch. So you go in, you pick your yarn and pull through, take the stitch off the needle. Then you're gonna bring your yarn forward and slip the next stitch as if to pull. Then we knit again through the front, go to the back, knit the stitch, bring the yarn forward, slip a stitch. Yarn back to knit, yarn forward to slip. Yarn back to knit, yarn forward to slip a stitch. So um, as you can see, going through the front, pick up the yarn, pull through. Bring the yarn in the front, behind, I go behind that yarn and slip the next stitch over. Put the yarn in the back, knit the stitch. Bring the yarn forward, slip. Yarn back, knit. Yarn forward, slip. 
yarn back, knit, yarn forward to slip. So you always start with a knit one and you always end up with the slip one. That's row number one. Row number two is worked exactly, exactly the same and you keep going like this until you, um, you know, finish the project you have. So we go through the front to knit one, bring the yarn forward through the back to slip one. Yarn at the back, knit one, yarn forward to slip one. Yarn back, knit, yarn forward, slip. There we go. So it's very, very simple. And as you can see, because we slip every other stitch, it's what makes our project to be narrow. So the stitches cramp up a bit because we slip, so it, they get pulled together. But not like this one here, so like this one. Let me do a couple more rows in this stitch, double stockinette and then we're gonna move on to the next one. All right, so as you can see, I've knitted a few rows and um, you see this one is the same as this one. So now I want to show you how to work this one in the middle, which is, a, which is a bit twisted, but I think it still looks beautiful and it looks the same on both sides. So it's a double stockinette as well, but it's, it's a double twisted stockinette stitch, I think. Let's call it that. And this is how you work it. It's exactly the same one row repeat and you keep repeating that this row for your desire until your project gets to your desired length but the knits we're going to go we're going to do them through the through the back but not the first one so the first stitch or this is how i found it to look better so the first stitch i'm going to knit it through the front just like that then i'm going to bring the yarn in the front and slip the next stitch then i'm going to knit the second, the next one, through the back loop. Bring the yarn in the front to slip, yarn back to knit through the back loop. Front, slip the stitch, back, knit through the back loop. And this is what makes it twisted. The knit stitches are twisted. And I think they look really pretty. And it would look really nice as a headband I mean, both of them will look nice as a headband, but this one in particular, it gives it the nice texture. So let's do another row. So the first one, we're going to knit through the front. Bring the yarn forward to slip. Take the yarn back to knit through the back loop. Slip. Knit through the back loop slip, knit through the back loop, slip, knit through the back loop and you just continue repeating this for as many rows as you like. Now I have to say I haven't tried knitting this in the round, I don't know how it would work, I don't know if it works. But if I find a way to make it work, I will definitely do a video for it. But I haven't seen it worked in the round. I don't know. But obviously, if you want to make a hat, you can just make a flat piece and stitch it with metro stitch. And then you could just have it all round. Let me just do one more row. So you can see the twisted stitches will show.
So this is um, sim uh, untwisted double stockinette. Then you have twisted, double stockinette, untwisted, and twisted. And as you can see, the only difference is the, the knit stitches are a bit tighter and a bit more neat. But I like it both ways. Obviously, when you knit it next to each other, you can tell. Um, that this is twisted, this is untwisted. But I, bo I like both of them and I, I would definitely use both of them in a scarf or in a hat, in a blanket. Like I said, you can make um, washcloth or like hot pads that you could, from cotton, you could put your hot pans on because it's quite dense and squishy and thick. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think and if you're going to give it a go and yeah, I will see you in my next one. Bye. So I thought I finished the video with the last clip that I filmed, but then I was unraveling my little sample and I and I realized that this stitch <laughs> makes like makes a pouch. I mean, honestly, you you work it flat and then you can open it up as a tube. I'm so amazed. But yeah, look. This is it. You can twist it, you can untwist it, and I'm thinking what if it works to do toe up socks? Obviously, they will be quite square at the front. Wow, I'm gonna give it a try. So, I just wanted to come back here and show you while I was unraveling it. That it looks like I worked it in the round and I didn't. I worked it flat. How amazing is that? <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. Anyway, thanks. Bye.